In this video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gawin yung tinatawag kong turntable presentation effect in PowerPoint gamit or using the morph transition. So sit back and stay tuned. Hello everyone, Sir Z here of Teach, Train, Transform where I do teaching and teacher related videos and sometimes nagbablogging din ako on the side to keep everything fresh and interesting. So the first time na ginamit ko itong effect na to sa PowerPoint presentation was for the division webinar for science teachers where na-invite ako as a guest speaker and from there, some of the teachers who attended the webinar and so my presentation, tinanong nila ako how I created this effect and so here we are. I need to point out though that we can only do this with a set of single objects or better yet mga pictures because we're going to move them, adjust their sizes in the process. In my case, I always start by uh, just in case na kailangan kong i-design yung mga pictures na yon, I start by creating slides first in PowerPoint and then after kun silang i-design, isinesave ko sila as JPEG files para maging pictures sila that I'm going to use for my presentation. So for this example, we are going to create a presentation involving 7 pictures. One is for the title and the other 6 are for the presentations or for the discussion. I already prepared these pictures by the way. Like I said, dinesign ko muna sa PowerPoint. I inserted the text, the images, and everything. But but of course, ito ay example lang. And I save it as JPEG files. So let's start with the new presentation project. Since meron tayong nakalagay na ganito, hindi natin kailangan to. Baka maka-apekto pa sa, sa ating uh, animation. We're going to delete that. And then click insert at the menu tab. Or let's click the insert tab at the menu bar. And then click pictures. Hanapin nyo yung pictures na gagamitin nyo. In my case, ito yung prepare ko kanina. Insert. Right now, masyado silang malalaki. So, I'm going to scale them down first para ma-organize ko sila later on. And since one of them has a white border, I'm going to, just for this example, bibigyan ko siya ng picture border na yellow para makita lang natin yung kanyang outline later on. Hindi tayo mahihirapan. So, the first thing we need to do is to organize them into a circular formation as seen from eye level the uh, one at the middle which is our main slide or present presentation slide for example or presentation image ay nasa gitna and it's larger than the rest so that is going to be at this point our title image this one so let's just place it here for the meantime and then we're going to adjust this later on. So since umiikot sila, some of them will be at the right side of the main image that is being presented and some of them will be at the left side. For this example, we're going to place, I named them slide numbers, slide number 1, number 2, and number 3, but I'm now getting confused. Let's just call them pictures or images, okay? So we got picture number 1 here, followed by picture number 2 and then picture number three and then we're going to have picture number four over here which is sumusunod sa picture number three followed by picture number five and then picture number six for the rotation since this is the main image that we are presenting this needs to be enlarged so that our audience will be able to see what's in it or read what is written on it eh, it is scaled up natin siya palakihin natin enough for our audience to see and read and then isentro natin siya medyo nasa baba ng konti kailangan natin ipakita yung effect na umiikot so this is going to be our first image for the presentation or the discussion which is the title slide number one will be at the right side at this point ang kamatch up niya sa left side will be slide number six they'll be uh, sharing the same size since nasa same position sila behind the main slide or the presented slide except that one of them is at the left and the other one is at the right so since malapit sila for example sa harapan they need to be slightly bigger than the rest so let's go ahead and select both of them adjust their size just like that and then adjust natin ito kasi nawala na siya sa pwesto so since sila ay supposedly nasa likod nitong main slide i right click natin to and bring it forward para nasa likod yung dalawang inadjust natin so next is to position picture number 2 and picture number 5 sa likod ng picture number 1 and picture number 6. 
since umiikat sila, di ba? Nakikita ko nasa ibabaw yung picture number 2 sa picture number 1. Ito dapat yung nasa harap. So let's right click this one and send it backward. You are now left with picture number 3 and picture number 4. Si uh, picture number 4, tama na ang position niya. Nasa likod siya noong picture number 5. Ito yung picture number 5. Pero si picture number 3 ay nasa ibabaw ng picture number 2. So we need to bring it backward. Dapat mas maliit silang dalawa doon sa picture number 5 and picture number 2 because supposedly mas malayo sila sa ating point of view. So let's select them both by holding the shift key tapos sa i-click natin silang dalawa para mapili silang sabay. I-adjust natin ang kanilang scale just enough for them to appear na mas malayo sila and position them accordingly na para bang paikot silang ganyan. You can also use this part here pero syempre example lang po ang aking ginagawa right now and now uh, once you get the idea you will be able to play around with this okay so this is going to be our slide number one the next thing we need to do is to duplicate slide number one by holding on ctrl c or command c to copy and then ctrl v or command v to paste so this time we're gonna do our work on slide number two so we will imagine that they will rotate all of this image will rotate towards the left so this big one here will go to this position of slide number six and then it will be replaced by slide number one or picture number one okay and then all of them will rotate around so before we move natin ito since wala pa tayong pagbabasihan ng size we're gonna work on picture number one first so that we'll be able to match it with the size of this title image since nasa likuran siya let's right click it and bring it forward place it on top and then i-adjust ang size para siya na ang papalit or we'll replace this one at the middle so, siya na yung ating center of attraction. Let's right click it and send it backward muna for the meantime para makuha natin to so that we can grab on this one. Place this on top of picture number 6 and then adjust the size to match the size of picture number 6. And then right click it to send it back so that we'll be able to grab this picture slide number six place it on top of picture number five named slide number five but don't get confused sabi ko nga i named them slides but of course right now we are working on them as pictures so this is now our picture for this particular position send it back let's grab this one and place it on top of this picture here para may match natin ang size nya just like that right click it to send it back so we are left with this empty space that will be taken by this picture here we need to place it first here para ma-match natin ang size and then send it all the way back to the right side Siyempre, since this is on top, this one is supposed to be on top. Let's right click this one and then send it backward. Picture number 3 will be following picture number 2. So let's place this one here first para maibagay natin or maimatch yung kanyang size. And then let's move it back to the right side behind picture number 2. So right click it and send it back. We're not gonna change the size of this one because katulad lang siya or it is matching the same size of the previous picture that is on this position. So we're just gonna bring it towards the right side. Right click it to bring it back or bring it backward. Send it backward. Alright, so this is going to be our slide number 2. I'm referring to this one. Click on slide number 2. Copy paste. Same procedure, this one will go here, this one will go here, here, and then this one will move all the way to the right, this one will move here, this one will move here, and this slide number 2 or picture number 2 will take the center stage. First, work on picture number 2 to adjust the size and match it with the one that is bigger at the middle. Alright, and then right click it, send it back so that we'll be able to grab this one, place it on top of this image at the left side, adjust the size to match it, right click, send it back, grab this one here, move it on top of this one, match the size again, once done, right click, send it back, hold this one, 
place it on top of this image or picture at the back adjust the size right click send it back and then before moving this here we need to work on this one first so itapat natin dito let's match the size and move it all the way to the right side again so now we're done with that one need to place this one over here send it back Move this one on top of this to match the size. And then bring it all the way back to the right side. Send it back. This one, send it back as well. Oh, okay, I forgot about this one. We need to place this behind this main picture. So I'm going to do the same process until sabi ko nga we will see this picture here na nandito na siya sa gitna because it's going to be the last picture containing the details or the information for the discussion okay. So let me just go ahead and do the process and I'll be back once I'm done. And there you go I'm done. Tapos na po kong gawin lahat at narito na po sa center stage kumbaga yung ating picture number 6 which is the very last slide supposedly for our presentation and discussion. It's I Either you ended up with this one or with a brand new slide that says thank you or the end, whatever. In my case, I always close it up by bringing back the same title page at the end before I close my presentation. To do that, I'm going to duplicate slide number one and copy it right below everything so that after the picture nito, which is supposedly my very last slide with my discussion, I'm going to rotate them again and bring back that title page or the title side at the center. So the next thing we need to do is to apply the magic of the morph transition. We don't need to apply this on slide number one. We'll start applying morph beginning with slide number two. Do the same thing with slide number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, slide number 7 to show our very last slide and then we continue our discussion. And like I said, I always want to bring back the title image or title slide once I'm done with my very last slide for my discussion. And of course, sometimes gusto nyong magdagdag pa ng mga slides in between this rotating or umiikot na slides because you got some more informations that you wanted to add at hindi siya kasya dito sa image na nilagay nyo at the center. For example, we are on this one here. We are discussing the content of this image with the title or label slide number 3. And before we move to this one, meron pa tayong gustong i-add after this. So, of course, pwedeng pwede. Just click on this slide kung saan meron kang idadagdag. And then hit Control M to add more slides. Just add whatever you need to add on this particular slide. Additional. Let's just say additional. This is just an example, of course. Let's see if there are design ideas we could use for this example. Okay, let's just use this one. Alright. Oh, so, for example, you wanted to add more after this so let's just go ahead add one more so you can select your design you can type whatever you wanted to type however if you're going to do that you need to duplicate this slide with the image for the turntable and place it after the inserted additional slides so that we'll be able to continue the turntable effect if you're not going to do that for example alisin natin ito and then we go from here we will go back to our turntable see what will happen so we lost the turntable effect right mas maganda if you're gonna duplicate and go back to the original rotation okay duplicate this after the added slides place it here so that after this we can morph towards this slide and then we're gonna continue our turntable but that's my style of course. Kung gusto nyo naman dumiretso na dito, pwede na rin. So for this particular tutorial and this example, ito na po ang ating completed project.
from here we go to slide number one in this case because even though we work on this as an image during the presentation it will appear like slide number one number two and so on so we do the discussion for this one and once we're done we move to the next slide but in the powerpoint project it's actually the second image and then we go to the next and before we go to this one here which is supposedly slide number four meron tayong dinagdag kasi nga parang kulang yung ating kinesent dun sa previous slide number three meron pa tayong isang dinagdag and of course you can do this between the other slides sa turntable and then we go back to this one before we move para maging malinaw to this slide here we continue discussing and this is the last one we continue our discussion give our details para sa akin I always wrap up by going back to the title page of course you don't need to follow the same dimensions that I use in this example you can be creative make them a lot smaller if you want you can use the empty space here you can create an actual circular pattern for the rotation it's up to you you can even change the pattern for the rotation just be creative fellow teachers and fellow presenters and that is how it is done the turntable effect in PowerPoint using the more transition so if this video provided you some helpful tips please do hit that like button and consider subscribing for more teaching and teacher related videos tips and tricks anything that I'll be able to share to all of you guys but you know sharing is caring and I'm a teacher I love to share I love to teach and I love to help this is RZ Godspeed everyone thank you for your time class dismissed